Now, I like to prep my ingredients before I make my pizza. Personally, for me, I love chicken on my pizza, and I found the cheapest and best way is to buy a whole rotisserie chicken from Costco. I put it in shreds and in a container where I use the shreds for not only my pizza toppings, but my chicken enchiladas and chicken tacos, or even a snack with sour cream and hot sauce. Now one thing I like to make from scratch is not only my pizza sauce but my spaghetti sauces as well. I find getting plain tomato sauce and adding your own seasonings makes it less carbs in the long run. You will need half a cup of the tomato sauce for this pizza recipe. And then the seasonings I put in my tomato sauce for the pizza sauce is black pepper, garlic salt, garlic powder, oregano leaves, basil leaves, and onion powder. Make sure to mix well and then set aside to prep your other ingredients. Now it's time to prep the pizza crust. I put a foil over a baking sheet. Grab your Thin Slim Foods pizza crust Place it right on top the foil. And here's my little secret, adding a little bit of buttery taste with zero carbs and zero calories with Pam Butter Spray. Little bit of pepper on the crust itself. Himalayan pink salt. And garlic powder, because I like my crust to be tasty. We then slice up our onion, mince our garlic, preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Now it's time to create our pizza. Grab your pre-made pizza sauce and spoon it evenly over the crust. I add half a cup of my mozzarella cheese over the pizza sauce as just the base for my toppings. Add our pepperoni, we like to use Hormel. Now if you notice, half the pizza is for my husband and half is for me. Can you tell which side is his? Now I'm adding onion to both sides of our pizza. I add the shredded rotisserie chicken on my side because I love chicken on my pizza. Sprinkle the fresh garlic over both sides of the pizza because we both love garlic. And because I love a little bit of spicy, I add slices of jalapeno on my side of the pizza. We add another half a cup of mozzarella cheese over the toppings to hold the toppings down. And of course, get a nice cheesy layer on top. And once it's done, We'll go ahead and place it into our oven on the middle rack and we will go ahead and cook this gorgeous pizza for 12 whole minutes. And once the timer is up, you will remove your pizza from the oven and let it cool down before slicing. Just check out all that delicious pizza goodness. All right guys, so I've got my sliced up pizza here and despite the many of toppings I've put on this crust, you notice that the crust does not fall apart on you. Overall toppings stay on there. Just an amazing delicious pizza crust. Something you guys definitely need to try. One of the best I've tried so far closest to an original pizza crust itself. And here are the total macros for the whole half of my pizza. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that quick little video to show you how I do pizza with the Thin Slim Foods crust. If you guys are going to load the pizza crust as much as I did, I would recommend in upping your cooking time from the 12 minutes to maybe around 15 to 17 minutes just to get a little bit of an extra crispier crust. 
If you did like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe for more easy keto recipes like this. Have a blessed day everybody and aloha.